On the count of three, repeat after me. One, two, three. three. I'm pregnant. Three, two, one, go. My name is Robin Artisan. I am a hustler, a marathoner, vice president of fitness programming at Peloton. I live a life of movement, and now I'm adding mother to my repertoire. <laughs> it's crazy to think that this time next year, how old will the baby be? Eight months, nine months. Nine months, we're gonna have a nine month old. So right now we're thinking about like, oh, we're gonna wake up, we're gonna work out, what do we wanna do, we'll go to my sister's later. And it's like, we're never gonna have, we're never, we're not gonna have this freedom again. Da -da -da? Yeah, very true. All right, hold this so I can show them the baby. Boom. Look at that. There's a human in here. I've shared so many milestones with the Peloton community. Why not this? <laughs> this is a peek behind the curtain. I am so excited. I mean, this is my first pregnancy and certainly the first time that my inside circle is going through this. I honestly never thought marriage was for me. And then I met Robin. We were literally so connected in such a short period of time that it felt obvious. I have wanted to be a mom since before I met my husband and I prayed for him. I want to create a legacy that's, that's remarkable and that includes for me a family. Now we have this blessing, so I'm grateful. Where are we going? In the heartbeat. I believe that, you know, in our bodies we have a life experience in that lifespan on Earth, but when we die, our souls continue on. And I think that, that energy still has a frequency, and I believe in past lives, and I think when a family is being created and when a baby is growing and, and about to be born, that's another soul transfer. My husband and I both believe that we've known our baby before. Got that Robin Harpy. You've, per you've perfected this pumpkin bread, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you remember the day um, in the Hamptons when you like pulled me aside and told me that you were gonna be the father of That I had husband? something to tell you. It was that I had something to tell you. I literally just had this feeling that I was going to be the father of your child. <laughs> and I remember being like, I need to talk to you and close the door. <laughs> And you were like, about what? I thought you were gonna tell me that you had a, a, a wife in Connecticut. <laughs> I really wanna like call in our spirit guides, similar to how I called in our announcement day. I called in our guides during the ride. I am so excited to announce that we are having a baby. <laughs> uh, I am pregnant with my first child. <sighs> and I had to share it with you. <laughs> I mean, there's literally you, Fertility 2020, on the vision board that's been there for a year. Two years. Two years, now it's happening. What a cool adventure we're about to embark on. You know, during the first trimester, clearly fatigue is, is tough. And I, I, the only other time I felt like that in my life is when I was training for, you know, 50 and 100 mile ultra marathons. And I thought to myself, just, I applied a 10 minute rule. So it was like 10 minutes of movement or 10 minutes, just do this thing for 10 minutes. And that's what I applied and I was able to maintain a very, very robust multi-hour a day training schedule um, throughout my entire pregnancy so far, applying that rule. I have always believed in the adage that it takes a village because that's how I grew up. It was like my aunts, my uncles, my three cousins, my mom, my dad, 
my grandmother, and I'm grateful that I have folks like Sheila and Erin because they know me to my core and they've seen me in so many different environments, right? So they, it's like the Peloton in front of the camera version of me is like, that doesn't even matter to them. Right. Erin! Oh, wait, my face. Oh, wait, let me, let me. Hi! So I have to tell you, you're gonna look at this bun. Is it kicking? Is the baby kicking? A lot. Oh my gosh. Like a lot. The baby's kicking so much. And when I play like certain music, the baby gets like super lit. Oh, this baby's gonna be lit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's so weird is that like, it feels sad even to think that I would have the baby and that there would be people like y'all who wouldn't even meet the baby for a certain amount of time, depending on what's going on with like, you know, lockdowns and stuff. So it's no, it's well, I actually plan to um, just stalk you and come by, and then you hold the baby <laughs> up at the window, and I'm like, like oh, baby, hey, hi, <laughs> it's Shayla. <laughs> Drew and I have talked about the fact that we're bringing a baby into the world during, it's unprecedented, right? We keep hearing unprecedented times, and it's because it's true. Our greatest obstacles are our greatest opportunities. And thankfully, my, my history as an athlete, I think is gonna lend itself to approaching what is very unpredictable, childbirth and motherhood. I don't presume to know what's gonna happen, but I know I'm strong as hell and I'll deal with it. <laughs> the world needs light bearers and light workers and let's go.